Okay, let's keep going. This is part of a, this is a five part series of videos. In the first one, I offer you a warm welcome into Joyful Soul Expansion. And I tell you a little bit about my own personal journey, my evolutionary embodiment journey. And I started telling you a little bit about the, the method that I've put together, that I've created, which is basically a conglomeration of all the lessons I've learned, all the win wisdoms I've earned, <laughs> and in the multiple modalities I've, I've been very blessed to encounter throughout my life since uh, my journey started 22 years ago. And in this video, I just want to go a little bit deeper into explaining to you what this method is that I've coined multi-dimensional harmonization method. And I was telling you a little bit that it, it has three parts. The, the first part is align the body-mind connection. The second part is expand the sacred heart space vibration. And the third part is awaken the soul dimension. So I just want to give you a better glimpse of what that represents because these are literally three phases of our healing. They are three phases um, that it's not like, unless you do one, you can't do two and you can't do three. Like personally, I did more of the three stuff, the phase three stuff before I ever came back to the phase one stuff. <laughs> but what I can tell you from the wisdom that I have earned from my life and my healing is that if we start by step one, if we start by actually bringing an alignment back between the mind and the body, then the healing that we're doing at the soul level can actually come all the way into the body. Because my experience is that as a child that went through trauma, it was very easy for me to go out there and really expand in my upper mind. And when I first started doing healing on myself and I met a master alchemist, we did a lot of work on my upper bodies and, you know, like my, basically my soul bodies. And the work was very profound and very deep and would have been of great benefit to the rest of my incarnations, <laughs> you know, but it wasn't, it wasn't coming all the way back in to where it needs to come which is in my human self, my human body, so that I can appreciate and experience in this body, in this incarnation, the results of the healing work done in the upper bodies. So <laughs> just parentheses, it's possible to go do the flyy, flyy soul awakening stuff without it ever coming back all the way into the body and into your humanity, where, where it's, that's the goal. You're not in this body to do work for later. You're not in this body just to work on your upper realms. You're in this body so that you can bring these higher frequencies all the way into matter so that you can spiritualize matter. Beautiful expression. So the reason I call it multidimensional harmonization method is I'm going about it through the, the seven, if we look at it through the seven chakras, which represent, they represent densities more than dimensions, but just work with me. <laughs> Let's not hair split right now. You have seven chakras. A way to understand these seven chakras is the root chakra is your personal will. The sacral chakra is your personal love. And your solar plexus chakra is your personal mind. And then you've got the heart, which is the bridge between the human, the personal persona, personal experience, and the more divine experience, the more soul-based experience, which is the upper chakras. So the throat is divine will, the third eye is divine love, and the crown is divine mind. So you've got your personal will, love, mind, the heart is the bridge, and then your divine will, love, mind, which is the more unitive chakras. The, the lower we go into the, the chakras, the, the deeper density gets. Right, like all the way to like having a physical body, and you're like, my body is not your body, you know. But the more you go in the upper realms, the less these distinctions exist, you know. In the divine mind, there's no such thing as there's my mind and your mind. It's 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 one thing. So the first part, phase one of the multidimensional harmonization method, is the align the body mind connection. 
And what we're actually doing when we're doing that is we are bringing these three chakras back into a harmonious relationship. Your body, your, your root chakra manages your body. It keeps your body safe. It's your will to live. It's your, it's your ability to feel safe in a body on this earth. Your sacral chakra is where, you know, like the inner child resides, like they, your ability to like love yourself and, and, you know, like offer yourself love and trust yourself and be kind to yourself and take care of yourself. And, and your personal mind is your ability. Your personal mind is where your ego resides. But your personal mind is your ability to basically construct meanings and belief systems that allow you to, you know, understand how to navigate and function in this world. So the issue that's going on here is that your personal self is very reactive in nature. It is composed of all the defense structures, all the reactive mechanisms, all the animal instincts. It's not, it's not that that's bad. You know, like you, you, you need to know to get your hand out of the fire if it's if, you, if you're putting it in there. But a lot of that is fear-based. We, we, we are absorbed. We absorb this field that we're in, which is very still calibrating at a frequency, consciousness frequency below 200. And all your human self is swimming in this energy. And then not only externally speaking, are you swimming in this energy of fear, but internally speaking, you have also, you know, experienced personal traumas and through your life, through, through whatever, whether it be your parents, school, whatever, like we've all experienced traumas. It's the whole goal of coming here in a weird way. Like whatever you experience here is literally in line with what your soul has come to heal. But we don't understand that while we're going through the first part of our 21 years of incarnation. <laughs> if we did, it would probably be a lot easier, but it wouldn't make sense. So when we do the align the body-mind connection, what we're doing is we are bringing that back together. We're bringing, you know, you've got the root chakra taking care of your survival. You've got your solar plexus, which is the whole mental structure, egoic structure you've built on top of the world to survive. And in the middle of those, you've got that sacral, which is your self-love. And... You know, all of these don't always <laughs> play play nice together. You know, your personal mind might be like, you know, I don't care if you need some love right now. We need to go do this and that guy's at this and da, 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 da. And all that is very painful for the parts of you that need to know that they're safe in the world and it's safe to be yourself and it's safe to be yourself with others. So when we do the align the body mind work, what we're doing is recreating, recreating an alignment instead of just being stuck in your mind spinning which is instead of just being stuck in your solar plexus spinning around about blah 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 blah, we start coming back into the body so we can actually go meet the energies where they are we can actually let the body know i'm coming back i'm coming back in you because your body's holding all of that for you and it can't let it go until you come back until you come and hold that space with it so the whole align the body mind connection is I'm going to give you a living example of each of the phases in the next videos. But the whole goal of that is to calm down the mind and relax the body. Once we've managed to relax the body, then we can actually start coming into the heart space where the truth is, where a deep stillness and peace is. So that's phase two. Then we're starting to kick into phase two. They're very fluid and they can just kind of, you know, fall into each other. Phase two is all about expanding that sacred heart space, expanding the vibration of that space. That's when we start entering the heart chakra. And I will say even deeper than the heart chakra, the sacred heart space, which is like an even deeper level of the spiritual heart. So once we have a mind that's calmed down, a body that's relaxed because it now knows that we're coming back and we're there with it and we're holding the things and we're willing to stay there while they unfold. We're willing to be an observer and a witness and a, you know, a loving subject. Then we start coming into the heart and the goal, the whole goal of coming into the heart is so that we start listening with our entire being to what's going on in us, truly listening truly truly listening with our entire being i'll tell you right now just that 
being able to get to that place where you are able to do that, just that is already, is already huge, huge progress in terms of entering 5D energies. But it goes further than that. Let me just... So once we start being able to tap into the sacred heart, what I call the sacred heart flow, right? Like the, the vibration of the sacred heart space. And we learn to start giving that to the body and the mind, right? Remember the heart's the bridge. It's the bridge between the personal and the divine, between the human and the being with a capital B. Once we're back in our hearts, once we actually understand how to come back here and stay, stay here, this is the center of our being. Once we're able to really hang out there, then we can start expanding that flow we can stand we can start expanding the vibration of that space throughout all our body throughout all our mind throughout all the structures all the defense structures we've created to survive our childhoods and this crazy world that we're in and we start letting the entire system know it's safe to harmonize because that's the heart is the integration point the heart is the harmonizer. So that's phase two. So phase one, we align the body-mind. We allow the mind to stop having anxiety by deciding to go into the body where the actual energy is that it's reacting to. We start doing that. We get very mindful with it. We understand how to start not being reactive and being more and more responsive and breathing into the places and letting these energies know I'm here. Most of them dissolve just from you going there. Once that starts happening, you've got a calm mind, a relaxed body, then the heart opens. Once the heart opens, we can start really entering that place and flowing that energy out into the system, into the world while we're at it. Now, that's the condition. Okay, That's the base condition for us to be able to go into the, the third phase, phase three, step three, which is the awaken the soul dimension, awakening your soul dimension. This is super important to understand. Most of us, we need dark nights of the soul and two by fours from the universe across our face to start waking up because we're not doing the base work of calming down the system and entering our heart space where there's deep peace and stillness. That is the necessary condition for the soul to be able to start talking to you directly. Yes, of course, but even for the soul to be able to really come into this unit that you are, this vessel that you are, if it's full of fear and reactions and grief and this and that, and like not acceptance of this and anger at this and hate about that, there's no room for your soul in there. Your soul has to kind of just float and wait for you to actually make space for it to come in. So, the ultimate goal of all this work of coming back to peace and stillness and learning to flow the love through your body is so that this body is a healthy vessel for your soul to come in, for your soul to take over, for your soul to be able to see through your eyes and hear through your ears and speak through your mouth so that it's not the ego anymore that's trying to run the show. And this is the most beautiful part of the work happens in here. We're talking like, I'm going to make a, a video just about that part, but <laughs> it's my ultimate passion. It's my ultimate passion, joyful soul expansion. And in order to get to the joyful soul expansion, we need to have a calm mind, a relaxed body, and an open heart. With that done, then we can start really bringing the soul in, bringing connecting to the heart of the soul, making sure that the heart of the soul and the heart of your human self are aligned, are together. Right? It's like babushka doll, right? There's like your human heart, the heart of your soul, your spiritual heart, you know, the heart of Gaia. It just keeps going like that. And we just, we want all that to be harmonized. So to awaken the soul dimension is the third step of the multidimensional harmonization method. And here we're entering these three chakras. We're entering the three upper chakras. So the heart chakra, of course, is the bridge. The heart chakra is with us in this work as well. But we start really tapping into... Here you have like a divine template. 
very, very important chakra. The throat chakra is very important. That's why most of us with the ascension energies, we feel the throat chakra a lot. It gets worked on a lot. Sorry, there's a monkey over there. So divine will in a nutshell isn't something outside of you trying to make you do something. It is your own will. It is the deepest alignment of your God self with the Godhead. And the awakening the soul dimension is all about coming back into this energy and starting to understand how to come back to being aligned with your will, your divine will, knowing divine love, that bliss of being able to recognize all life forms as worthy of dignity and the divine mind, which is our goal is really to have the divine mind and the divine and the personal mind connected. Can you imagine that your personal mind, instead of being filled with, filled with fear programs and defense structures and you know beliefs that are super low frequency that basically hurt you, can come back in line with the divine mind, with the golden mind, with the mind that carries a love-based thought system? <laughs> okay, I'm going to get excited here. <laughs> Okay. So in a nutshell, <laughs> that's what I wanted to say about, <laughs> I don't know how long the video is, but that's my nutshell. That's the goal of the multidimensional harmonization method. We align the body-mind connection, which means getting the three lower chakras back into a proper alignment so that your self-love can be your base. Then we expand the sacred heart space, which means we're expanding and activating the bridge between the personal self and the divine self, between the human self and the divine self. And we expand that sacred heart space. The more that expands, the more we feel at peace, the more we're able to feel joy and love flowing through us, and the more we're able to heal and feed all these systems in us with this very, very neutral and benevolent vibration of divine love, of love, for ourselves and for humanity. And then phase three, we awaken the soul dimension. We get all the upper chakras, you know, really activated and flowing and all flowing together. I want to come back to what I was saying at the beginning. The goal of all this is that these three steps, these three phases of the work all work together. Our goal is to open up all the channels is to clear out the clutter from the energy bodies so that the soul can come in and the soul can come in all the way, all the way into the lower chakras, all the way into the human experience. Nothing, that's what the soul wants the most. The deepest longing is to be able to come into this human experience and bring its gifts and, you know, participate to the healing of humanity. So, this is a unit, even though I'm talking about three steps, they're not separate. It's a unit. And sure, there's phases. And if ever you work with me, you'll see like, you know, we could be doing level three work and we'll still go back to level one, level one whenever we need to. So it's not like it's not like it stops. It's super fluid and works. It all works together. I'm going to give you living examples of each of these three phases of the multidimensional harmonization method, MDHM, right now in three separate videos. But I want you to remember all that flows together. All that flows together. Depending on where you're at, we might focus more on one than on the other, but it all flows together. And it's not like I'm done level one. I never have to go back to level one, you know, because that's that's BS. <laughs> you know, this shaman I used to work with, I love, I love that he said, people want to fly like the eagle but they don't understand that they also need to crawl like the worm, you know? So we all want to fly, fly, you know, like, but if we don't crawl like the worm, if we don't go all the way in to the deepest pains that we're holding in our physical body, some of them are ours. Some of them we're carrying for the collective to heal it. If we're not willing to go deep down in that work, we are not creating the space in this vessel for the light to be able to fully come in. And that's the goal of ascension. We're bringing more light into this body so that we can transmute 
the lower frequencies and make this vessel a vessel that's able to hold the immensity of the light because it's huge and it cannot go through a system that's full of programs. So, <laughs> can you tell I love what I do? My God. I'll catch you right now in uh, the next video. I'm going to talk about the Align the Body-Mind Connection. The next video after that, I'll talk about expanding the sacred heart space. And the last video I'll talk about, I'll, I'll talk about the awakening, the soul dimension. These correspond to three different modalities that I use in my work. And I'll give you a little taste of each of them. So I hope this video was <laughs> informative and not too, too much, too much information. But um, please, please do this work with us. Please.